Hi, welcome to Practice with Chris. I'm Chris, and I'm finally back with another practice. Thanks to all of you who gave me friendly reminders to get my butt back here to practice with all of you. Today's simple practice is outside and all about grounding our energy. And that means a few things to me. One, we'll bring our energy uh, down to connect to our foundation, which most of the time are our feet. And we'll calm uh, more mobile, uh, scattered energy, discovering a balance and stability that comes not only from external support like the earth and gravity, but the support within ourselves. And lastly, we'll focus on mindfulness, paying attention or rooting down into the present moment and branching out from where we are, not where we wish we were. So let's begin where we are. Uh, you don't even have to uh, have a yoga mat or be wearing yoga pants for this. I'm not. Uh, simply step your feet together into Tadasana. And if it feels like you need a wider base, then just bring your feet uh, a couple feet apart. And now bring your attention into your feet, spreading the toes and feeling the muscles that engage when you do this. Feel the texture of whatever your toes are touching, the insides of your socks, shoes, the floor. And notice where the weight is in your feet. Find the balance of where you're pressing down evenly between the big toe ball mount, the pinky toe ball mount, and the center of your heel, that little triangle tripod on both feet. And as you root down through your feet, notice the rebounding engagement of the leg muscles as they lift the kneecaps up and stabilize the pelvis. Continue to lengthen up through the side waist the armpit, chest, and the top of the head, and maintain a balance between rooting down and lifting up. Find a balance between effort and ease. Notice where you can relax into the pose. Tune into your breath and simply be where your feet are. Noticing the sensations that are present for you in the feet. Scanning up through the rest of the body. And anytime you notice that the tension has floated away, simply return to the roots. Ground down through your feet. Bloom where you're planted, which is always here and now. Take a final deep inhale, breathing from the soles of your feet all the way up through the crown of your head. Exhale completely, feeling the support that's always available to you right beneath your feet. So if you're local, check out my teaching schedule. Uh, come practice additional grounding techniques, not only through asana or postures, but also through breathing and meditation techniques. Uh, this coming week, we'll experiment with being where our feet are in forward folds. Uh, and I'll teach a simple action um, in the feet that can allow for greater um, space and mobility in the hips, uh, which may help you fold more deeply, if that's something that's in the cards for you. And if you're not local and you enjoyed today's practice, head over to practicewithchris.com restore to download a five-minute audio practice um, where you can pay whatever you can pay and use the practice throughout the day whenever you need it most. Tadasana waiting for the bus. Tadasana when washing the dishes. Tadasana at the checkout line. Be where your feet are. The invitation is to make this your mantra for the week and observe what happens. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and practicing with me. Don't forget to share this practice with anyone you know who could benefit from it. And feel free to ask me questions or comment below about your experience. May there be peace within. May there be peace with all. Namaste.